everyone welcome back to another exos heroes video so today's video it's time to update our overall tier list for the month of september but before that if you want an updated exos heroes videos please hit the subscribe button down below okay guys so this tier list is actually for september but for this one this file this excel file that i have this is the same file that I shared with you guys for August so that you can compare tier lists. So we have here at the bottom August, then September, so that you may compare the differences in terms of movement on the tier list or in the tier list. Let's start with the tier list for September. We have kind of average movement for the tier list. So for tier E, which is needs a lot of work, they still need a lot of work. They're still there. Still the same as August and your D is actually is going to be the same. So for your E guys, uh, sorry, so for your C, so for the viable, the only movement for the tier list since August is going to be the new FC Mahar. So FC Mahar, just to, you know, just to give you guys a, you know, a more than an idea of his kit, he's more of a defensive type more on luring damage to him, provoke, um, more on sustainability, survivability. That is actually the theme of his kit. So for me, I think they should have, you know, done a lot more in terms of just survivability and provoke. So again, they, they added to the provoke, they added to, to the survivability, but that's it. No other additions to his kit. So again, he's viable, but it depends if you have other better um, <clears throat> defenders than Mahar. Like, for example, you have um, Ulum, you have Tantalo, and the other defenders that are on the top. Then you would usually use them. As for Mahar, I think he does need a core reverse immediately after he's in tier C. Okay, so again, the rest are the same. So you have your Corgi. Yao, Degas, Luke, Valar, Carry, the regular Carry, FC Deva, Shifraken, Rachel, FC Sabrina, <coughs> Luna, and FC Bernie or FC Bernadette. Okay, let's go and move on to tier B. Okay, by the way, guys, um, this tier list is actually um, from the Asian server. And also, I'll put again another link for this tier list so that you may see this in a later, you know, when you are more free. Um, it has again both August and September, so you may you might want to reference both, um, see what the differences are. <clears throat> so for B, you have here the changes. Um, as you can see, there are two changes um, on your right side. So you have Rhinor. So she's a new addition since august 1 the august tier list was actually brought out in august 1 then she came out then she's now at tier b so these are solid heroes also kylock after the Coriverse is actually solid right now and he can be used um in pvp or in pvp tag okay if especially if you want to bring that synergy for brun they're actually one of the changes that are here in the September tier list. So again, you have your FC Baraka, FC Scarlet, FC Anastasia, no change, FC Hecken, Otard. Otard, despite her new core reverse, is it, it? It's not that much. Um, it's not as it's not going to put her above tier B. I think she's going to be more solid for tier B. So she stays put. You also have here FC Ramji, Legger, FC Legger, FC Emma. FC Legger, by the way, is a solid reviver and healer, but is not really one of the top tier. So they actually, she actually gives the utility, but doesn't bring that kind of oomph factor that you really need to put her in your team. Then you have your FC Emma, FC Baelish, Bathory, Garf, and Schmidt, uh, which is their regular form rounds out your tier B. For your tier A, guys, there are kind of a lot of, not really a lot. There are only two changes here. So the rest are still the same. FC Valentina, FC Garf, uh, Blue FC Garf, Blue FC Rera, FC Morris, FC Brooke, FC Lepin, FC Rachel, and FC Jean 
are in the reliable. So the one that's actually going up is actually FC Chatty. I've seen FC Chatty um, be more useful in PvP. Actually, that is why she's in A. Um, more of more of again a defensive type of green led team. I've seen her there, and she's she is actually fantastic. And you have here FC uh, Naomi, you have FC Ramji, then FC Baraka goes to tier A. So he's one of the reliables, not too fancy. He's usually built for speed and for quick damage. So that's it. No, no other. Th there are other uh, things such as he can steal mana, but that's probably it. So and our tier A is rounded out by FC Ulum, of course okay now we bring you to the s tier so the wingman um to your superstar so there are two notable changes here fc carry is here because of her new release and her new fc and okay i might be wrong with her s tier she might be ss tier but right now as most of you guys have haven't built her kit up to like her signature force like her um uh what again the, the the core core management core sharing sorry core sharing uh <laughs> so you haven't built her yet and we don't have any data yet on how she's performing at the top of pvp and also for pve but her kit is actually very impressive as is that is why she's at s then she's joined by FC Maggie, FC Zeon, FC Adams, FC Shell, FC Iris, FC April, and FC Annie. And also FC Jin um, has been um, elevated from A to S because he brings a lot to Xtoris. Um, not only the damage, but also the speed, um, the ability to counter um, Dorka. And also to give um, mana bind and silence as well. So she he brings a lot of utility to your team, especially if you brought along S Tori. So and we have here FC Shufraken as well and FC Luna. And to round out the tier list at SS. Okay, so it's going to be FC Tantalo and FC Dorka. Okay, so but let's uh, before I discuss why they're going up again. Um, FC Garf, FC Rudley, FC Talia are very good mainstays, joined by FC Bathory, FC Rera, FC Rachel, FC Janai, FC Schmidt, and Misty are mainstays of uh, SS tier. Dorka was once um, SS tier, she actually just dropped because her usage actually dropped as well. There weren't that much teams building her because before there were uh, signature force, of course, was not built. There wasn't a chaos uh, blue fate core, and also there wasn't a brun blue fate core. Now there are. So right now she's being used heavily, especially for North Von Frosty. So again, she's one of the you know one of the must have units that we have right now. Even though she doesn't have a fate core, she's very, very efficient in what she does. Especially if you built her uh, with the highest speed, then your, you know, the oppo your your opponents will just cry with in terms of requiring a lot of mana. They will just use your basic attack. And also for just to round out the SS tier, you have here FC Tantalo um to round it out again his stock is actually rising as well because of north von frosty dorka and him actually form a very good tandem with north von frosty together with um with fc valentina fc uh talia and fc shufraken so again they are you know they they mesh very well with uh, shufraken and valentina that they have catapulted um, North One Frosty to the top. So again, guys, um, this is actually your new tier list for the month of September. I'm not going to discuss the others here, like your E, they're still the same. Again, your D is still the same and the others here because more or less, there's no change from the previous tier list. 
So month to month, I'll be bringing you guys a tier list depending on the core versus the new heroes and the way they perform in PvE and in PvP for the month. Okay, so that is it, guys. So for no for comments, suggestions, again, this tier list is open for suggestions. Please put down your comments in the comment section below if you have any, you know, if you have any comments on uh, this this unit or this this hero should be there, this and that. Okay, just put them down below, and I will actually discuss it with you and consider your recommendation. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for staying this far in this video. And also, please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot. Um, guys, don't forget to click that bell icon if you have subscribed. Also, put a like to this video. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.